Do you have a minute? Mayor Mullins, what an <laughs> honor to have you stop by my office. It's very seldom you come and mingle with a hoi polloi. Please, have a chair. Why, thank you. What brings you by? I have about 12 questions I'd like to ah. ask that I've always wanted to ask. And I've been told you're the only credible person on campus to answer them. I see. Now, this wasn't my question. This was from somewhere, somewhere else on campus. There's a question about your wardrobe. And I'd heard that you purchased your wardrobe after they stopped filming the show My Three Sons at the prop sale. One good thing about clothes that are 50 years old. Back then, when we still had uh, woolen mills in this country, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they made fabric that just didn't wear out. And as soon as it does, I'll get something from the 60s. <laughs> there we go. Your last lecture in 12 words. Do good, avoid evil, but first you have to know the difference. What advice would you give to a new faculty member who is overly concerned that students can now rate them on the internet? What's the internet? Is it true that going to D1 was your idea? Well, I, I'm against giving low grades. D sounds like a low <laughs> grade to me. Now, C grades or a B grade, that seems more reasonable. So B1 you'd prefer? B, I'd prefer B1. Yes, I would. This is more of a philosophical question, but you consider your life to be a reward or a punishment for your last life? Uh, it's probably a combination of a reward and punishment for the things I did yesterday and the day before. Uh, paying the penalty for my own mistakes. Wisdom. Maybe. Can you tell me what has happened to the faculty sense of humor, or lack thereof? Uh, certainly, uh, humor is no laughing matter. I agree with that. Um, there are some that uh, believe that uh, the uh, faculty are, appear to be so humorless because they worship at the altar of political correctness. Amen. And uh, I'm not sure that's the reason. The uh, faculty are en enormously uh, humorous people, but they, they do it uh, quietly. They're less ostentatious. Uh, you have to be on the inside, uh, partly to catch some of the jokes, partly because uh, we're, all faculty are rather shy. As the gun club moderator on campus, do you consider yourself an over-under or a side-by-side? -side? Ah, I tend to be very versatile. All right. So um, there are days when I prefer over and under. There are days in which I prefer side-by-side. -side. It's just a matter of mood, whatever mood I'm in. Now, I have been told you need only just turn the gun to achieve. Ah, um, actually, I have one of each. Okay. So that when I'm in one mood, I can use it. And when I'm in the other mood, use the other. The reason I attended CLU in the first place was I, I had a strong sense that the faculty here were so mission-driven and committed to their work that they would almost work for free knowing the service they were providing to their students. Mm -hmm. And that's the same reason I didn't uh, attend Gonzaga, because I had a stronger sense that they were more money-grubbing intelligentsia over there. Mm -hmm. So uh, could you either confirm or deny the fact that most faculty would almost work for free here because they're so involved with the mission? Uh, what do you mean by almost? Is this a rhetorical question? <laughs> What's rhetorical? Ah, do you have time for a 50-minute lecture? <laughs> <laughs> I always do. <laughs> Please finish this sentence. If you're happy and you know it, Stop there. <laughs> Perfect. I'm done. Unless Perfect. you have any questions for me.